everyone, this is Sam and happy holidays to all of you. Also, feel free to use code SWISHMAS for 20% off on our premium jumper service on NBA2KLab.com. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys multiple ways you can beat the CPU defense. This is going to work in my career, my team playing out, whatever game move you choose. But you're going to get plenty of open dunks, open freeze guaranteed. So let's begin with a method where you can get a dunk pretty much every single time. You want to bring your player to the wing and then you want to use an icon pick and roll to tell the center to come up to set you a screen. You also want to make sure this screen is set towards the wing side or the sideline and you can tap L3 to change the screen side as necessary. Once the screen comes up, give it to the screener and then just run right down to the middle and you can either tap X or A to receive the pass or double tap Y or triangle to get a lob if the lob is there and there's no passing link for a regular pass. And the key tip of doing this, the higher you are, the better, but you do want it to be on the wing. And if the center passes to the corner, that's actually what you want. Now, you can't control where he passes it to, but as long as you cut down the middle, you'll be fine. And obviously, if the lob is there, use it because you're going to get more badge points. And here's a clip of it working out great in my career. So this is a great way to get dunks. I can pretty much get like 60 points straight dunks doing this in the regular game. And here's another method where you can get an open free every time to help you with shooting badges or just to get an open free. So you want to do icon pick and roll again, but this time you want to use the strong side corner player as the screener. So in this case, it was X. And you want to make sure the screen is once again set towards the wing or the sideline. Tap L3 to change the screen side if you need to. And as the screen arrives, you want to hold turbo, dribble towards the corner, and then just shoot these turbo leaners. And you're going to be wide open almost every single time. So as long as you get the timing down, you'll make that shot. And never use a center screen for this. So always make sure the corner player is a wing or a guard or a forward, but never the center. And then just shoot the shot. And the key is, this is really good as you bring up the ball here. I'm calling the power forward to do it. But you can see it just moves very smoothly. And always go before the screen is set. Don't wait for the screen. Go just before the screen is set. That's the perfect timing. And that's what's going to get you your looks because it throws off the hedge defense. And you can actually combine both methods I've showed you here to a pretty good flow offense. So here I'm trying to get the cut. I didn't get it, which is fine. I call for it back. And now I tell the corner player to come up. Then set the screen and now I get the free. You can just keep rotating through this. And then when you get the look you want, execute. And obviously another great way to get freeze is uh, make sure you have the LeBron size up package equipped. And then you want to hold turbo and flick the right stick down. Make sure you're in the mid range when you do this. So when you hop out with the LeBron size up escape, you end up being in three point range. And this separation is going to get you enough open space to make that free. And that's going to be a really good shot every single time. And another good method you can score out of ISO is the triple threat spin. So you can call a screen or you don't have to, but in this case, I'm going to show you both examples. So here, call the screen and make sure the screen is screened towards your non-pivot foot side. So you can jab towards it, flick the right stick left, hold turbo, and then spin the right stick from left to right. And you're going to do this triple threat spin every single time. But make sure you jab towards the screen, non-pivot foot, spin out. And then just go from there you'll probably seal off the defender and get a lot of good looks you can also do this out of iso same exact move up top right at the middle of the court that's the best spot for it and you're going to score a lot of isolations against the cpu defense especially with this triple fat move when you have a size advantage and whatnot and strength advantage so let us know in the comment section how you like to beat cpu defense but some of these methods are definitely going to help you out to win more games or just simply grind up your badges when you're playing in my career and such all right so hopefully you'll use the code for the swishmits uh, for 20 percent off on our website and as always thanks for coming by and i look forward to speaking to you guys again very soon